Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about how you can group multiple dashboards together so that you can view all the relevant performance data you need in one place using looped data boards. This is especially useful if, let's say, you're the founder or CEO and you know that your team has created a bunch of important marketing or sales or product or customer support dashboards, but you want to pick certain dashboards, put them all together so that you can have a comprehensive view called overall company performance. Or let's say, for example, you're the sales director or you're the marketing director. Chances are that you've got multiple dashboards for the initiatives that you're running. So for example, if I'm the marketing director, uh, my team might have dashboards related to SEO or website performance or brand marketing, paid ads, email performance. And so those are all individual dashboards with their own metrics tracking those individual uh, departments or the individual campaigns, but I want to view my overarching marketing performance all in one place. And that's where I could use loop data boards to group the SEO, the brand, the email, the paid dashboards all together so that I could have one comprehensive view of my marketing performance. So in order to access this, we've got here, uh, we've got my first data board with a few, first few uh, metrics and some dummy data here to walk you through. At the bottom here, you'll see it says looped data boards. And you've got the option to create a new data board or link with an existing data board. So in our case, we don't need to keep creating new ones that are looped in. We've got some existing ones here that I want to make sure I loop together to create a comprehensive marketing overview. So I'm going to go ahead and click link. And now we can search for the data boards we need by name. We have a few sorting options. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the ones created by me. And here they are. I've named them conveniently marketing SEO funnel and brand. So I'm going to go ahead and select these. And here we can see the data sources that these include. And I'm going to go ahead and hit select. Now we've got a few options here. First, we can actually reorder the, the way in which these uh, data boards are displayed. So for example, let's say I wanted the brand one first, we could do that or the marketing funnel first. Um, we also have the option if we missed one to go back and add an, another data board and then let's name it. So in this case, we're going to say marketing overview. Um, we also can change the loop time. So right now, when we you know view this or present this every 60 seconds by default, it's going to change views and show another data board, but we could click this and maybe change it to every 30 seconds, for example. And then we're going to go ahead and click save. And now you can see we've got different options here. We can see the order in which all this is displayed. We can scroll through and now we've got the marketing overview loop. And now I can see all these data boards in one place, all part of my marketing performance overview. So if I want, I can go back and edit the loop. Um, and then we've got the same share options here that you saw if you watched the share options for an individual data board. We have a link that we can share. So let's say that, you know, I want to send this to the CEO. So he, uh, he or she has full access to all of our marketing performance and marketing overview. I can share it as a link. I have embed options. We have some agencies that use this. For example, they can embed in a ClickUp file or in like a private web page for clients. Um, we also can stream to TV. This is popular among sales teams who are meeting in office and want to scroll through and view sales performance or leaderboards and stream it to the TV. So we've got a lot of share options here for this loop, the same way that we would an individual data board. Okay. So let's go ahead and view the full screen option. If we click view loop, now we're going to view a full screen option and this is where it's going to scroll through. We have a pause option here and we set the duration for 30 seconds. And so every second, every 30 seconds, excuse me, it's going to come through and scroll through all of these. And because it's live, we've got the ability still to change the date range here, which is really cool and really powerful. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. Okay, now let's say that we want to edit or go back and view some of the loops that we've already created. Well, we can do that too if we come under data boards here on the left hand side and instead of data boards, switch it over to loop data boards. And now we can see the marketing overview loop that we just created and we can go in and make changes there.